Hey, what's up guys? This is Foryam again, back with a new Minecraft Dungeons video. Today, I am going to show you how you can get to this obsidian chest in the soggy cave as quick as possible without having to do a single room event. You can skip every single one of them. There are four of them in total. Three are pretty easy to do on the console as well. So of course, then you can get your hands on the precious loot very quickly as well. Make sure to always take the right gear with you so you can get your hands on uniques. Guys, let's get right to it. Anyways, before we get started, guys, a big shout out to Mordforce. Big thanks to him for finding out every single skippable room on the Soggy Cave. I'm going to provide a link to his video in the description, but uh, he also gave us some pretty awesome tips to work with. So first off, what you definitely want to get your hands on is a Ocelot Armor or a Shadow Walker Unique for Ryan or a Mystery Armor with this built-in enchantment, 50% faster roll. I'm going to show you that in a second when we get in the Soggy Cave and then also if you want to do this on the console if you have a controller the light feather is definitely recommended to make things a lot easier but you don't need the feather for any of these jumps so let's get right to it i'm gonna do this on the highest apocalypse plus sergey cave here we go all right, so here we are at the skippable rooms. Three out of four, actually pretty easy to do on the console as well, even without a feather, but it just makes everything a little bit easier. The fourth one, however, is pretty tricky and it's gonna take a lot of practice to do it on the console, but on the PC, it's actually very doable if you know exactly what to focus on. So um, let's check out the rooms, guys. Okay, this is already one that is pretty easy to do. There are two different combinations. So, um... You can either go and jump on top of um, that platform right there, which was the thing I originally did, which is very easy in my opinion. You just jump to this one and then um, get on top of this place and roll once again. And then you are already on the other side so you can uh, solve the puzzle and here you go. So that is everything you have to do if you want to do it the easy way. But you can also do it the quick way, which I'm going to show you in a second. So let's get back inside. We're just going to quickly deal with every single bad boy in here. All right, so we just cleared the entire room and can continue the mission. But if you want to make these runs as fast and efficient as possible, you can even do these without clearing the mobs with one single roll. And for that, my friends, we're going to need the directional roll. So normally when you roll, you always go forward. But with the directional roll, you can actually roll towards your mouse cursor. So right now we actually roll backwards, which is something that is extremely useful for these kind of jumps. So if we go to settings, then to key bindings, we can find uh, forward and directional roll right here. So the forward roll is the default, just uh, remove it. P is something I don't use at all. I always use my spacebar for the directional rolls. So right now, every time when I click my spacebar, I can roll wherever I want. So what you wanna do is stand right on top of this thing right here, get um, on to the second block and go to the very edge of it. And right now, what you wanna do is search the distance of this um, wall right here. And of course, the end of the bridge, go to the exact center of it and roll towards this very very position and then you'll be able to skip this entire gate. For the console though I think it is a little bit easier to roll towards this direction because uh, then you'll be able to do it without a problem as well. You don't really need the directional rolls for this and if you want to make it a little bit easier you can actually even use a feather so that is exactly what we're gonna do right now so we're gonna use the feather bam no jumping at all so we just uh, use it twice and get to the other side as well then we can puzzle it and go to the next room. Next up, we have this room right here. And uh, let's just uh, go all the way to the end. This is also one that can be pretty tricky to do, but if you have a feather, it is extremely easy. So if you have a feather, what you can do is stand right on top of this block, then uh, activate your feather and get on top of the next thing. You're gonna stand on this very edge and then click it once again, and bam, we are at the other side so we can solve the puzzle. But there is another one, and this one, of course, triggers the gate. So definitely be careful with that. Right now we have mobs spawning in what you're going to do is stand on this very edge. And for this, we're also going to use the directional roll. We're going to roll towards the very edge of this block pretty much so we can get to this point. Right now, we are standing right here getting shot by the skeleton, which is not nice. So let's just roll off this platform as quick as possible by using our mouse once again to... Um, roll right to the middle pretty much of this brazier and the edge of um, of the cliff pretty much. So uh, we are on the other side, the mobs can't touch us, we can solve the puzzle. Look at that, in just three clicks. And there we go, now we can collect our prize. 
For this, my friends, I always recommend you, of course, to bring some gear with you with Luck of the Sea to increase your chances of finding uniques because the 30% increased chance really helps big time. Anyways, we have two more rooms to check out, so I'm going to quickly speed run to the cave once again to show you the other two combinations and how you can get to the other sides. Unfortunately, this time we once again got the same variation on the first room, but the second room is a new one, so uh, this is variation B pretty much, and this one is also extremely easy to complete. So uh, what you can do right here is pretty much use your feather, jump on top of these two blocks, and then go to the bridge. But uh, without a feather, it is very easy to do if you just stand right here, roll towards um, this side of um, the wall pretty much and then of course you can just drop down and you are at the end. There is another combination as well so you just stand at this very edge and uh, you just roll towards this block and look at that we are on top of it once again we can pretty much skip this place. All right so with a feather it is even easier all you have to do is walk on top of this block pretty much right here and then um, activate your feather a couple times sometimes even once works so um, we just do that do another one and look at that we are already on top of it you can also stand on the side right here activate your feather once and there you go right now we can solve the puzzle and gather our loot luck of the sea gear and bam look at that power level 248 soul fists Ooh, these guys have swirling shockwave radius critical hit pretty much everything you need guys this is really awesome Alright, so after many attempts, I finally found the unskippable room, pretty much. One that was extremely difficult to do, and my fox is already leading me to the way. So um, if we check out this place and um, just go a little bit further, you can tell that uh, this one has an extremely large gate. So jumps right here are pretty much impossible. I mean, we tried all the different possibilities. It is not possible to get through this. So uh, what you actually want to do is get back to the entrance and use the exit. I mean, uh, this is the end. So uh, this is where the room ends pretty much. Right here we have a gate that of course leads to uh, the puzzle, but um, we can actually open up the map and see that the gate is right there. So what we're gonna do is stand right on top of this block right here, and we are going to roll to the other side. So uh, we actually get in between the two gates so we can open the puzzle and this one will open and we can progress to the next objective. So uh, what you're gonna do is stand on this very edge, go all the way to the end. And right now, very important, you wanna go to your settings and you wanna go to your uh, display graphics and put your HUD skill or your HUD skill all the way to the minimum, to 70%, so your mouse becomes extremely small. Next up, you're gonna equip your Ocelot armor, Shadow Walker or Mystery armor, whatever you have with 50% faster roll because this allows you to get to the other side. And then, very funky, you're gonna put your mouse cursor at the very center of your second artifact. World Force, once again, big thanks for this. So um, then we're just gonna press our directional roll and bam we get to the other side of the cliff and um, we can complete the puzzle so uh, we just equip our speed ring gear once again now we can um, continue with everything without a feather or without any other gear and um, we get this second cave so uh, right now we can just uh, stand on top of this block right here roll towards this place then uh, wait for a roll to be on cooldown and roll once again and we get to the other side Make sure to always equip the Luck of the Sea gear. And BAM! Oh my god, guys! We actually found some Fighter's Bindings as well during this recording. That is just fantastic. And wow, man, look at this end screen. Zero healing done, 100% of the chest open, zero damage done, and zero players down. Zero, 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 zero. But uh, we did get some loot, guys, which is very awesome. And it only took us like one or two minutes. So these Fighter's Bindings have uh, the swirling, the shockwave, and also the enchanting or exploding. So a lot of AoE, but but unfortunately, no radius. All right, so guys, that's how you skip every single room in Sergey Cave. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, definitely make sure to hit that like button. And of course, if you are new to the channel, don't hesitate to subscribe. It is entirely free, and I upload Minecraft and Minecraft Dungeons on the daily, with also some live streams in between. Once again, a big thanks to Lord Force for sharing this information with us. His video is in the description. Make sure to check it out right now, though. It is for him out. I'll see you guys very soon. Take care. Peace.